Hey there, welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing great and blessed and enjoying this Christmas season. Today, uh, hubby and I are going to see a play, A Christmas Carol, and I am super excited. That's why I'm all dressed up. And um, I have an errand to run real quick before we head out. It is beautiful here, nice and breezy, 72 degrees. It was raining earlier, but now it is so nice. So I thought I would take you along with me and uh, kind of time management, you know, um, take advantage of the time that I'm driving so I could chat with you for a minute. Let's talk about my word for 2020. Yesterday, I, or the other day, I mentioned um, about my word for 2019 was simplicity and how that really means peace for me and just simplifying things and uh, focusing on the things that are important to me. So 2020, I've been pondering, what is my word for 2020? What, what do I want my year to look like? And I wanna kinda delve into how I arrived at my word for 2020. So I've been thinking a lot about my goals. And of course, uh, as you may know, I am on a 103 pound weight loss journey, the journey of a lifetime, you guys. Uh, I have lost 60 pounds so far, so I have 43 more pounds to go. Um, at this point, 43 pounds, that doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Once you hit the 60 mark, 60 pound mark, you know, the rest is, um, you know, continuing, just um, consistency, right? So I've been thinking a lot about my goals. Uh, I've been thinking a lot of the word focus. Um, I want to achieve a lot of other goals. The other day, I just kind of had a brainstorming session. I got out a notebook and my trusty pen, and I just wrote down the words or the goals that I wanted to accomplish in 2020. Um, of course, I want to uh, reach my goal of 145 pounds down from 248 pounds, uh, which I will do in 2020 and then maintain from there on. Um, but I have a lot of other goals. Uh, I've got things to do, you guys, as I'm sure you do too. Um, you know, um, life after cancer, it's like it, it gives you a new set of eyeglasses, right? You see the world, you see your life, you see your family, you see everything through a different lens. It's life can never be the same um, because you know, you're know you kind of faced with the reality that um, tomorrow is not promised for anyone, anyone. And especially when you've been confronted with a um, life-altering um, deadly disease so I, uh, I view things differently so I am on a mission to accomplish the tasks that I want to do and that's exciting for me it makes me savor it makes me appreciate value every day for the beautiful gift from God that it is and um, you know I think it's I'm sure it's hard for others who have not faced a uh, life-threatening disease to really grasp all of that although certainly you you can embrace every day and chase after your goals but um, anyway so that gives me fuel that gives me ambition and that gives me courage honestly to accomplish and go after and chase after my goals and um, so that's my word for 2020 it's courage <laughs> it's courage and uh, I will talk more about that in a second I have a brief stop to make so Webster's dictionary defines courage as bravery or valor in the face of difficulty or challenges and I thought that that was a very fitting word for 2020 for me courage courage to continue the weight loss journey and uh, face my challenges, being honest with myself, um, and then courage to chase after my other goals and dreams. So that is my word for 2020. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have a word or a focus uh, for 2020. It's a good thing to set goals um, for ourselves because, you know, the Bible says that life is a vapor, you know, it, it's just, it's like a flower of the field. The wind blows and it is no more. That's what the Bible says. And it is true. Even if we live to be a hundred, um, life goes by so fast. I will be turning 50 in February, you guys. And let me tell you, it seems like not too long ago, I was like 11 and playing Payday and Monopoly and Barbies and whatever with my friends, softball and all that good stuff. Um, time flies. And now I have a 31 year old, a 22 year old and a 20 year old. How did that happen? <laughs> uh, proud mother here and a lovely daughter-in-law might I add. Um, she's very thoughtful and I am blessed. We are blessed. You know, I hope that you and your family enjoy this holiday season, this Christmas season. It is a season of joy and peace and um, I hope that you just take some time just to, you know, spend in some quiet moments thanking God for all the many blessings that he's given you. We are all more blessed than we know, more blessed. And uh, I entered in my thankfulness journal today some uh, several items that I am thankful for. I think I'm up to 305, number 305, since I started it. Mm, I don't know when I started it, maybe the summer or fall. Um, but it's really neat to look back on, really neat. So I encourage you to count your blessings today, to um, just spend some quiet time enjoying, enjoying the season as 2019 comes to a close and we're focused on the hopes and the joys that 2020 will bring. I am definitely entering it in a posture of prayer. I have a lot of uh, things that I'm asking God for. Um, trusting Him. He is sovereign. He is gracious. And He's been so merciful to me. Um, so merciful. I just thank Him for life. <laughs> for my family. For all of you guys. You guys bring a lot of joy to me. And um, it's just been a blessing getting new subscribers lately so thank you for subscribing no matter when you subscribe I really appreciate you watching and um, I love to read all of your comments so please comment below and uh, I will be back with you tomorrow as vlogmas is coming to a close soon you guys uh, Christmas Eve I guess will be the last vlogmas of 2019 and um, it has been a joy to do these vlogs um, and I hope that you have gotten something out of them. Let me know in the comments below what's your word for 2020 and I will see you tomorrow. God bless, Merry Christmas. Getting ready to go see a Christmas carol. So this is my outfit for the day. Both the slacks and the um, top are from Goodwill, my favorite place. Yep, so, sorry about that. This is what 188 looks like. So, not stopping here, but pretty happy from um, 248. Just thought I'd let you know what I have on today.